everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. In today's video I'm going to be sharing what I hope to colour during the month of October, also known as the What's in My Colouring Bag video that I've been doing for quite a while now. Um, this is inspired by Sammy from Colour and Chat with Sammy, as always. I think this is such a brilliant idea and, you know, in some ways it does keep me motivated and picking out pages sometimes is a lot easier for me because then I know exactly what you know my plans are without kind of dilly-dallying around a bit during the month um, and not really having a, a clear idea so yeah in this video I'm going to share a couple of whips that I hope to at least work on um, this one that I definitely hope to finish though which we'll get on to um, and then a couple of pages that I would love to get to so they're ones that I have been wanting to do and they're kind of my main goals for the month and then a couple of books that if I have time I would love to get around to but um, if you know um, me you know that kind of four pages a month is my aim now because I am very very busy so um, this is the picture that I hope to complete first I'm actually hoping to complete it this afternoon so all I've got left to do now um, is the polar bear and the um, princess character and the gems down here and then these kind of wisps in the air and that's it so i have turned the light away just so that you can hopefully see it a little bit better and then i'll turn it back around once i've done this it's very difficult to see when you're not in person um the underneath of these icicles um iceberg bits i've done in purple and then the top is um is meant to be snow and i've done like pointillism techniques with white gel pen and um fine liner it's really hard to see i apologize so at the moment it looks really unfinished but um yeah in person it's getting there i've been working on this um floating island today so yeah i don't really have much left and i am focusing on trying to make them look like uh, the characters from the northern lights so i'm probably going to use the same sorts of colors that i've already got going on but i need to just try and find a way of making sure that the polar bear doesn't blend in too much because there's already a lot of kind of white and pale blue going on I'm probably going to add more greys to him so that yeah he stands out a little bit but I'm loving this one this will definitely be finished so I, I really don't have that much left so I'm hoping that this will be kind of a, a quick page to account as one of them for my completed pages for the month so that's that one and I didn't even say what it was from apologies this is from mythographic frozen fantasies by Fabiana Atanasio so um that will be another mythographic page ticked off my list um and for me that's not bad going like consistently now I've been doing one of these pages once every two months and you know I start it in one month month and finish it in the other and they do take a while for me so yeah I'm I'm happy with that so you know I feel like I can properly enjoy the pages rather than feeling like i've got to rush them for a month because i really don't want to rush those pages I, I like them so i've got a couple now which i'm hoping to continue with at least a little bit if i don't um with you know my ivy page which i'll show you in a minute it's not the end of the world but this one i definitely want to continue with this is fragile worlds by kirby rosans and again this has been one that i've shown quite a lot this is my penguin double page spread which I'm doing as a buddy colour with Valentina and I'm making it my mission to focus on this page this month um, because I do want to dedicate some proper time to it. Once I finish my Frozen Fantasies whip, um, I do want to focus on this a little bit more because I am really enjoying how it's turning out so far. It's just going to be one of those pages that I know I'm going to have to dedic ugh, dedicate quite a lot of time to and I don't imagine that I will finish it um, this month. I'm not sure... Um, how long Valentina thinks that hers will take but as as I said I think in my computer pages we don't really have a, a time frame for this page which I think is quite nice so um, yeah this is what I'm hoping to continue with and Kirby pages in general are quite daunting for me and yeah it's nice to just be able to do one even if it will take quite a bit of time so the other page that I'm hoping to continue with is my page from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and if you saw my computer pages video you know it's very hard to see the background um you can barely see it I'm hoping once I've coloured um the other bits it will hopefully stand out a little bit more but yeah you really can't see anything I think it is partly because everything else is white as well but 
I've done a pastel pastel background so far on this and I would just like to continue it continue with it a bit obviously it's not one of my priorities because it's not an autumnal picture and I do want to make sure that I get at least two autumnal pictures done as we're heading into Halloween so yeah I, I do feel like I've been neglecting this book but it's going to be a long process anyway completing it so you know it, it doesn't really uh, matter and I'm still really enjoying colouring in it so um, that is that one okay so the next two pages that um, I would really like to do um, and if not just at least do one of them um, are my travelling Ivy and the Inky Butterfly pages that I was sent by Yvonne to do which I'm very excited about now the last time I coloured these in my first and second copies they did take quite a while just because of the repeating pattern but there weren't many colours involved in um, either of them when I did them so I'm hoping that in that sense they won't take that long but um, I know what colours I'm using I know what I need to do so hopefully I can get at least one done I would love to be able to do these before the end of the year that's my goal um Yvonne did say there's no rush or anything with them but I would really like to do them before then so if I can do one a month that would be fantastic and if not both of them but these are my priority which is probably why I won't prioritize my double spread and ivy and inky butterfly in my copy as much because I want to do these first so I'm definitely hoping to do um the majority of, of that and then i have two halloween pictures that i would really like to do so i'm not sure which um which one i'll necessarily finish first i um, very exciting do you have a um a streamathon that i'm doing a halloween streamathon hosted by shell from shell arty so i will be coloring one of these two images if i haven't completed them both already i don't think i would have done um, i'll either be continuing with one of these starting one of these or picking an entirely different page if i have done both of them so i'm very excited for that as well but the picture that i have already started in here these are the i believe in fairies coloring postcards by clara markova um, is this one so this one i just started the other night whilst we were um watching strictly and I hardly did anything, but, you know, I didn't really uh, start colouring until we were, you know, pretty much halfway through with it anyway. So I just did a little bit. So I just felt drawn to doing this page, partly because I also want to do a tutorial for how I did the background in my, um, mine, uh, dirt, oh my gosh, no, <laughs> wrong title. The new book uh, from Rita Berman, the autumn page that I did in there, I would like to replicate the background and do a tutorial for you because um, I got a couple of questions about it. So I'm hoping to do that same background on this page because I think it will fit really nicely with these. can't remember exactly the name of them, but I know they're meant to be an orangey colour. So I thought that would fit quite well. Um, and because it's an autumnal Halloween page anyway, you've got the witch, you've got the bat. So I thought that would go really nicely. And there are actually only seven autumnal pages in this postcards i should say oh no yeah yeah seven because i've already done one so there are a couple more christmasy ones i think but i would love to do um this halloween one and then a christmas one from this um over the next couple of months so this one i am doing black but i've put greys and purples as an undercoat and i just need to go and blend it in with my derwent blender pens now because you know that i've been loving those so that is definitely a priority page heading into October. And then the other priority page is from the Nina Stagner colouring book. And there is also um, an autumnal page in here that I'd really like to do. And it is this one. So it was kind of a choice between two in here that I could have done. There are other autumnal pages like this one. I mean, there are loads in here, but I wanted to go for kind of autumnal Halloween pictures. So, yeah, it was either between this one or this one. And I may still change my mind. I think I said this in my completed pages, but at the moment I'm going for this one. And I want to try and use Nina's colour palettes. I mean, the cover, that is just so inspiring. So I'll probably use polychromos. I think she uses them quite a lot. But I could just imagine this one being so cute. You know, they're off with the rabbits. 
and it shouldn't take me too long either so this will probably be one that realistically I could complete quite quickly so whether I do do it in the, the stream or not I'm not sure yet so they're my two Halloween pictures and then I have another page that I would really like to get to this is one I've had picked out for a while now which I just haven't got to unfortunately and this is the circle of life um, kind of a book by Mel Pemeni, Chats Up and Ogitu and this was a page that was picked as a, a challenge with my cousin Rosie and I do have those videos um, somewhere so there's a fun video coming when I eventually do this page and it is this one, it's the Peacock page so I know it's not autumnal but I really want to do it and um, it's been picked out for a while now and I feel really bad for not getting, um, getting to it so this one I want to colour as if it's a peacock so um turn it into the the feathers or the flowers so i think this one will be very very fun and again with this one once i've got the colors picked out it shouldn't be too difficult to do because i'll kind of get into the flow of what i'm doing so yes it's just a case of doing it so that's also one that i'd really like to get to so they are my pages that realistically i would love to get done during the month and i've got a couple now that i want to show you that i would like to get to if if i have time i do have half term during october so it's very possible that i could get some more pages so fingers crossed um, although i probably will be busy with my shop because that's opening as well anyway i've got dreamland coloring whimsical world by renetta quark's sake again i'm really sorry i'm not sure i'm saying that right i did share this in my um haul video and i also have a flip through of this on my channel if you're interested i would love to color in this and there are a couple of pages like this with the mushrooms which would be quite fitting for autumn um but yeah i haven't picked out a page so what i might do is either turn one into an autumnal color palette or, as I said, pick one that looks a bit more, um, you know, like an autumn-themed page. But I don't want one that's too detailed, because I know that the chances of me getting to it are probably slimmer if I do that. So I was maybe thinking this one because of the foxes. But now that I think about it, with those mushrooms, there are quite a few options. So this is a really gorgeous book, and I'd definitely recommend checking it out, because it was a new book to me when I first saw it and I think it's lovely in a very unique style so that's by Renetta Quark Syke. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong okay we then have The Flower Year by Leila Dooley again I'd really like to get this um get to this sorry um my first pages that I either wanted to do were the title page or the first page that I ever did in my first copy this was the periwinkle and wren now i'm thinking because it's closer to autumn do i go for one of the autumnal pages from september onwards but i'm not sure i think i would still want to stick to doing one of the pages i had originally planned so you know this won't take too long although it took a long time in my first copy because i was taking my time with it so we'll see this is one of those books that I can't wait to get to. It might just take a little while. And then we have this book, the Chiaki Karamomo colouring book, which I have had on my to work in list for such a long time since I got it. And now is the perfect opportunity to do it because we are coming into autumn. Sorry, no, we are coming into kind of wintry season, you know, soon after autumn and it would be the perfect time to do this page that I would really like to do. So once I finish my polar bear from Frozen Fantasies, you know, this would be a great one to do because there's another polar bear in it. It's a shame, really, I won't be doing um, polar bears in November. My colour along that I did in um, 2019, but I do have a colour along announcement for November coming sometime in October for you. So yeah, this is one that I would really like to get to. Um, and this is the inspiration page. So gorgeous. And yeah, I love it. So that's one that I would love to do for Christmas. Um, and have that. So that's that one. You know, have that one done. 
And the final thing that I'd like to start working on potentially are my Christmas cards by Rebecca Jones. I'm not sure how many of these I will complete, but I would like to send some out to friends and family if I have time to do so. What I might do, I'm, I mean, I make my own Christmas cards anyway with my stamps. So maybe that I do some of those and some of these. But I have kind of a plan for how I'm going to go about doing them. What I've thought is, because they are going to take such a long time, um, especially with the envelopes, where you colour the cards and the envelopes, um, is that what I'll probably do is use some kind of water media as a base, go over a bit with pencils, um, glitter, that sort of thing, um, and colour the cards like that, potentially. And then for the envelopes, what I was going to do was get some soft pastel and just do a base on the, the back because I do I will not have the time to do all of the tiny patterns. And I think it will look quite nice with pastel. I've done it in the past and it looks really nice with kind of that um, the black pen still coming through. And then I thought what might look quite nice, I mean, I this could potentially go horribly wrong, so I might not do it. But do kind of a watercolour wash, again, kind of the same thing as the, past, uh, the pastel around it. But just pick out some things to colour, um, you know, like the polar bear colour um, him normally. But yeah, maybe do like a, a green wash here, for example, and then pick out the berries to do in red. Something like that. I'm not sure. It, it could go horribly wrong. That's just kind of an idea of mine. But, you know, really the card is the... Um, the main thing I guess and the envelopes are really nice to you know um package them in I guess you kind of do because you fold them up but yeah I, I want to try and do um a few of these if I can again it's just a case of time so um these would be lovely to do for for people though so that's everything that I have to share with you again I'm very optimistic when it comes to the amounts of pages that I'm going to be able to complete and I know I, I always know when I film these videos I'm not going to be able to do all of these pictures it would be amazing if I could but unfortunately it's not but it's also kind of nice to just share lots of different options just so that you know if there are certain books that you've seen that you didn't realize you had pages in that could potentially go for um you know certain seasons or um hashtags and things like that Hopefully it kind of helps in, in that way as well. So yeah, I really enjoy doing these videos and I know that I may not get a lot done, but I really, really do enjoy filming them. So that's all from me. I hope that you have a lovely day, lovely week, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.